morning, commissioners, Mr. Benton, Mr. Jordan. So I prepared my statement this, today to, I'm just gonna read it to you the best I can here. It's hard to read, read statements, I know, but. Being forced to pay opt-out extortion fees for not taking part in a communication upgrade on a power meter is insane. They're charging the ones who did not receive the upgrade and they are hiding the upgrade costs until, that is until they ask for rate increases down the line to cover their smart grid expenses. They hide it at the beginning, this is part of their plan. Rates have never gone down after smart meter deployment as they claim, they've always gone up. It's always to cover the higher costs, so they're hiding those costs. Pacific Power says that only 1% are opting out. We don't believe that, but let's just go with their numbers. I believe it's increased since the anti-smart meter activists have been increasing around the state. But let's go with that 1%. Oregon has approximately 550,000 Pacific Power customers. I know Colleen went over some of these numbers when she was at the OPUC last week, so that was helpful to point this out. Of that, if you take 1%, that's 5,500 people paying $36 a month, which is approximately $2.4 million. Now, how much was Pacific Power getting before for their meter reading? It was a little over $10 million. And so to read 1% of the meters, they're gonna get $2.4 million. Kind of a racket going on there. What if it's really 2% or 3% or even higher? You can imagine those numbers are gonna climb. So when they're charging the wrong people and making a killing on it, it's clear what's going on. It's mafia type tactics approved and effectively made law by our supposedly protective agency, or OPUC, to force unwanted surveillance control devices on our homes that they control and they are raking in money from every direction. First they get it from federal grants, part of the 11 billion that was signed into law in 2009, then by finding people who don't want to be part of the grid or reading 99% less meters. Then the rates go up, charging everyone for the privilege of the wonderful smart grid, including the ones who are still being penalized for refusing to partake. Remember how they said, well, we can't put your meter reading costs on the people that don't have their meters read, but all the smart grid costs are gonna be going on the people that don't wanna partake and it should not be put on them. That's part of what makes it illegal. We're trying to get the attorneys around the state to see this and to stand up on these constitutional issues for us that we're paying for these attorneys to represent us. So this is part of the, the picture we're trying to build here. So when they hide these uh, costs, so the profits, I'm sorry, I'm in the wrong spot here. So let's go on to the next part. Let's imagine now that they did this correctly. They offer, if you're in the world of, of electronics and you say, I'm gonna put this stuff on your house and it's gonna cost this much and it's gonna have all these great features. That's basically what they've done. So if they told people the truth, that they say, well, okay, I've got this great offer for you. The Pacific Power comes to them and says, you can pay $137 today and $36 a month to have this wonderful smart meter system and it's gonna save you money on your power bills. You're gonna be able to track your power. And of course, we're gonna have two-way communication with it. You can't touch it and it's going to transmit RFs all, all day long, would they opt in? They were told, these people of course were going to be told how you're going to be able to access your power online, allow you to adjust your usage and track problems, etc. But they left out that no one's rates have gone down in smart meter areas and that they can only save money, the individuals, if you limit your usage or move it to a different time of day because they are going to start charging you from time of use and penalizing you. And California just did it during peak time when people come home from work between between five and eight, they're paying triple rate now during a time that they cannot do it. They have to get the kids to bed, they gotta do laundry, and they're tripling the rates during those times. So they're just penalizing people. It does not save people money. And of course, they're gonna inform people about the fire risk when they're making you this great offer that you might want. I wonder how many people would have opted into smart meters had they been presented with their costs to do it instead of giving it to them for free and charging the wrong people. So we have to see it for what it is. It's mafia tactics. It's no different than holding a gun to somebody and saying, give me your money. And how is that? Well, try and not go along with them. Try and refuse, like we're doing. Refuse to let the smart meter be put on your home, and then refuse to pay the illegal opt-out fees. They claim in writing they're gonna cut our power. So we're gonna do it, we're not gonna pay it. We absolutely, on principle, refuse to pay the opt-out fees and we're gonna test it. So we'll keep you informed about what's going on. But back to what's going on statewide and what we're trying to do. Our goal now, by talking to the different counties, you know about Coos County being involved and now um, up in Clatsop County and others, is to find honorable constitutional attorneys in our state that are being paid by the people, whether they're city, county, whether they're, age, um, whether they're DAs or whatever, because I know there's been some cases where that's worked, where we get these publicly paid 
attorneys to stand up for the people on this issue and to expose the illegal actions and the unconstitutional judgment that's happened so we can turn this around. So we're going to continue on that path and thank you for your time today. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, there's no one else signed up. Did anyone wish to address the commissioners? Please come forward. Jaska Leeuwenberg, 224 Arnold Lane, Medford. Um, this opt-out fee reminds me exactly of the individual mandate for Obamacare, which was proven to be unconstitutional. And it was illegal um, until it was put under a different title. But Pacific Power has conveniently put it under the label of a delivery reading charge. And um, it's my concern that this MO will continue continue in other issues where the government wants to force the public to accept th something they don't like. And that, I think, needs to be nipped into the bud. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else that wanted to address the Board of Commissioners? <coughs> Seeing none, 